I feel like I'm sweaty and I don't look good and it's really making me self-conscious. Having a bad day. Hey guys, I'm Angus and today we're doing my, what, what month is it? April wrap up and my May TBR. Whew. It's been a long day. So if you don't know, this year I'm challenging myself to try and read every single book that I own. It might take longer than a year though because there's about 70 books in here and I'm only reading three every month. <laughs> So every month I'm drawing out three random books from here to add to my TBR. I'm trying to read everything or at least try and read everything. You know, if I don't like it, I can DNF it if I want. So if you're just interested in seeing my drawing out of this thingy and my TBR for this month, you can skip to this time code now. There's also a time code in the description, but right now I'm gonna wrap up everything I read from last month, which includes things I drew out of here and my thoughts, and then we'll get onto this thingy. So these are all the books that I read this month. I read one, two, three, four, five books. Not a lot, but I did pretty much read everything I set out to read. There was just one book that I didn't read that was on my TBR. So the first book I read this month was Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. I started this book about a year ago now and I never got through it. I'm such a fake fan. But finally last month I picked this up to finish it just in time for Chain of Gold and I did it and I loved it. I don't know what happened, but this time picking it up and reading it, I was just so enthralled in this story and I really enjoyed this book. Not to brag, but I've actually met Cassandra Clare before and we had a little chat about Booktube. Here's a photo of Fetus Angus meeting Cassandra Clare. This was before Booktube drama was ever a thing. I just look back and I'm like, those were the days. Those were the days when I really thought I could pretend to be a straight man for the rest of my life. But I definitely need to reread this trilogy, these three, because Lady Midnight is still my favorite and I feel like that's the one that I actually read through properly. Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness I read in chunks and I didn't really get the full experience. The next book I read this month, I drew out of my little jar here and it is November 9 by Miss Colleen Hoover. This one, I really wasn't looking forward to this one, um, but in the end, I didn't mind this book. I gave it three stars. The only major issue I had with it was the stupid twist at the ending. I won't spoil it, but if you've read it, you know what I mean. I really did not like that at all. Probably will not be reading any more of Colleen's books. Didn't interest me that much. In saying that, I read it in like two days. It was really easy to read. And I really did like the premise of this book. It's like two people who meet up on the same day every year. I thought that was interesting, but just not really for me. The next book I read, I also drew out of my little jar challenge thing and it was the first book in His Dark Materials, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. And I absolutely loved this book. It's so genius and so original and so, I don't know, it's just so good. I loved it so fucking much. I love the world building. It's felt so original and fresh. But yeah, this is the bind up and um, I'm definitely gonna be reading the next two in the trilogy this month. I was in awe of how original this felt and how cool the idea is behind it. It's so good. And the next book I read was also from my jar and that is The Prince, a little book of essays. This one was <laughs> so hard to get through. It's really funny how like I can get through like an 800 page book in a few days and it's no dramas. But this 80 page book took me four days and it was so painful. Um, I'm glad I've read it though. It was useful. Um, pretty much this is like where the term Machiavellian villain comes from. So I feel like as a writer, this is an interesting read. I gave this three stars because it was so hard to get through. And finally, the last book I read this month is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Love, love, loved it. I'm so excited to be back with Jem, Will, and Tessa. It's just so good to be back. Anything Cassandra Clare puts out, I'm gonna eat up. So I don't really have much to say. I just love the way she writes. And this story world is just so much fun. And I just wanna be a shadow hunter. So those are the books that I read this month. Now we're gonna get onto my TBR for May and also drawing out the three books that I have to read from here. So this month is my birthday. Woohoo! Um, I'm turning 21 this year on May 14th. So don't forget to wish me a happy birthday when that comes around. I'm gonna be expecting it. Anyway, yeah, I'll be celebrating my birthday in isolation like most people will if they're born in May. That's gonna be fun. But I haven't planned too much about what I wanna read this month. Just gonna see what happens, what books I get for my birthday. As I said at the start, I draw three out of here every month and I've gotta at least try to read them and then I'll wrap them up at the end of the month. Let's do it. What color shall we go for? I'm thinking this pinky color. Let's do one of these pinky ones. What's this one? <gasps> Let's do this one. What if it's Colleen Hoover again? I can't do Colleen Hoover again. 
Oh, okay. So the book I drew out was The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I got a copy of this book from a subscription box I think I was sent a while ago, but yeah. I've heard mixed things about this one. The only Holly Black I've read is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town and the middle grade series Magisterium she did with Cassie Clare, because obviously it's Cassie Clare and I'm gonna read that. So I'm not really too familiar with her writing style, but I've heard good things about this. I'm excited to try it. We'll see. I'm not a fan of fairies that much and Holly Black seems to love to write about fairies, but that's gonna be on my TBR now. All right. The next one, we're gonna do a green, I think. Let's go to the bottom though. Let's, ready? Oh! <gasps> right, so this book I've tried to read, but I couldn't. I didn't get very far in though. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiebarter. This one, yeah, I tried to read this last year. I got like 20 pages in. We can try again. Um, I didn't really give it much of a chance. Guess we're giving it a chance this month. I know a lot of people love this series. I think at the time when I read it, I wasn't ready to commit to another urban fantasy supernatural series. I just wasn't in the headspace. I just read a lot of Rainbow Rowell and I just wasn't in that headspace. So it'll be interesting to try this again. <sighs> we'll see how we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it guys. All right, finally, the third book. One of these days I'm gonna draw something I really hate out of here and I'm just gonna throw a tantrum and we'll never do it again. So just be aware that that's gonna happen. All right, blue. Ooh! I don't even know what this book is. The third book I drew out of my jar is Norwegian Wood by Murakami. Now a major motion picture. I didn't know this was a movie. I didn't know they made this into a movie. Anyway, I got this book like four years ago now. Never got around to reading it, but now, this dumb bitch has to because I drew it out of the hat. I feel like I'm sweaty and I don't look good and it's really making me so conscious. So I've drawn my three books. Now I'm gonna go through everything else that I'm gonna be reading this month. Not many, there's not many, so it'll be quick, I promise. <laughs> After I read those three or in between, I'm gonna be reading the next two books in the His Dark Materials series. As I said in my wrap up from last month, I read The Northern Lights last month and I absolutely loved it. It's an amazing, amazing first book in the series. So I'm really excited to continue with um, The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass. I'm really excited. I hope they're as good as the first one. And then after that, of course, when it comes out, I'm gonna be reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the Hunger Games prequel coming out this month. It's like one of the most hyped books of the year. So I'm really excited to read it. Every time the Scholastic rep comes into my work, I beg her, for an arc of this book, but they don't exist. There's none around. They're just not printing any in Australia anyway, which is really annoying because I just want it. Pretty much this one follows the rise of our villains, President Snow, his rise to power. From the sample chapter, it's gonna be quite different. I'm really excited to see where Suzanne Collins takes this book because she's an intelligent woman. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Finally, this month, I'm gonna be reading the book I was supposed to read last month, but I never got to. First You Write a Sentence by Joe Moran. This was the last book on my TBR and I just didn't get around to it. I was so close, but I just didn't. And I was just not in the mood for another nonfiction book. So we just, <laughs> just didn't do it. Pretty much this is just a guide to, you know, how to write a book, a screenplay, whatever you want. How to just like start writing and get some words down. Like first you write a sentence, cause that's what you do. First you gotta write that sentence, man. So those are the books I'm gonna be reading this month. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm turning 21. Very exciting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video soon. Okay, goodbye.